Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. Welcome back to another video of Oblivion stuff, I guess. And today we're going to talk about if the Lord sign, the the one that is kind of there, in the middle, that no one picks, if it's good or not. Now if you don't know what it does, it, it's very simple. It gives you a restore health spell that restores you something like 9 points over 15 seconds. Not 9, I think it's 6. Yeah, because then it, it bumps you up 90 health. Restores you 90 health for only 50 magic, which is really cheap. And gives you a weakness of fi to fire by 25%. Now, this 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 um, sign to me always sticks out as a weak sign because of the fact that late game, if you have a restoration, it's a main skill, or you just heal yourself in general, you're gonna have uh, you're basically gonna have the healing spells that are better than this healing spell you start with. Then you just have to deal with the weakness to fire. Now there's some characters like. What elves that have resistance to fire that counters this, but it's still kind of, it seems like a waste to me, as opposed to something like popping in the warrior that gives you that increased endurance, you know, something like that. But I think this sign can be useful in very specific ways. One example is if you're using a character that magically is just not. There. Not there. Zero magical capabilities like an orc. Orcs suck in magic. So you're always going to have that magic problem. Right? But again, like most things in Oblivion, gold solves everything. Right? If you have an orc, you can carry a lot of stuff. So you're going to buy a bunch of potions or buy a bunch of Welkin stones or just even upgrade your restoration skill. Right? So generally speaking, general, very, very generally speaking, the Lord sign, in my opinion... It's a good sign for noobs, right? Because noobs, you know, you kind of don't know your ways around spells. You get this weakness to fire, but not a lot of things use fire. And scamps in the beginning of the game are pretty powerful anyways. And not a lot of stuff uses fire. Uh, except, I mean, if you have to swim through lava in Oblivion, I guess you could deal with that. But I really don't see this sign as good for even a, someone who knows what they're doing like maybe it's their second playthrough with an opt with a somewhat optimized character. I just don't see this sign as useful. The mage, better sign because you have 50 more magic, right? Anything that gives you more endurance. Heck, anything that gives you more strength so you can carry the potions in the first place. And then usually like the only sign with strength is the warrior. That gives you endurance, right? So I just don't see this as a sign that has any uses. I see it as you get to have a slightly better than basic spell of healing at the start. What's nice about the lesser power, though, is it's not daily since it's a lesser power. So you get to cast it a lot, but it's a power. And if you guys don't know, powers don't increase your skill in the first place. So you can't even use this to grind restoration. It's just there. Right, so that's what I have to say about the Lord sign. Not much other than I think it's a waste of space. Maybe if you're a complete noob... And you don't really know what the attributes do at all, but it's like, oh, yes, a good healing spell. Use a lot of magic, but I, I heal fast. That's about it. But that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more Oblivion videos. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make. And don't waste your birth sign on the Lord, please.